Hi Capricorn, welcome back. your bonus intro Capricorn welcome back welcome back let's explain these cards your decision your intuition and your smooth sailing I would say all right so let's look at the high priestess because this is first look at this girl this is that sexy enchantress inside you guy Capricorns or the girl you are dealing with, or this is you, female Capricorns, or the girl you are dealing with, or your inner high priestess, okay? This is your deep connection to spirit, your deep connection to just knowing. You don't know why you looked at that clock at that time and saw those numbers, and now that's the same number and the weird call you're getting right now on your phone. And then you look at the clock later, and then you look at the time, it's the same, like, connections. This is you putting connections together and trusting it. Trusting those signs. She has so much knowledge about what she's been through. You could never sit her down in her whole life and pull all that stuff out of her. So, you know, she, she lets it out slowly, as needed, as deserved, as... She's aware of who she's working with and the lessons that she's been through and that the people she's going through with are also going through. So she has complete consciousness as well as a complete inner knowing of probably not only her situation, but the whole situation, every perspective. She can feel herself in the other person's shoes. She holds off, you know. She's earned her merits. She's earned her knowledge. She's earned her wisdom. Uh, you know, there's two pillars. There's one pillar on the left and one pillar on the right. She's checked out both. You know, the full moon is behind her. There's a full moon coming up. Maybe that means something to Capricorn. Um, maybe it's today. Maybe today means something if you're watching this, Capricorn. So, what is being brought to light for you? What was in the shadows before that you see? Maybe not so clearly. If you're in the moonlight, it's not completely clear if you're walking in the forest. Although you're not going to usually smack into a tree unless you're on your phone. So, you're in the forest, walking around, it's dark and sexy and different, you know, and, you know, in this one you're smooth sailing, you found your halo, you found your inner light here, but she doesn't always have the light, she has a book and a scroll and a box in this one, it looks like the holy grail, it's a treasure chest, it's a box, you don't know what's in it, it's it's a secret. Maybe she'll tell you. Maybe she won't. All right, so this is two. Number one's the magician, and number two is the high priestess. So you've learned from those tools of your reality, and you've seen your creation, and you've possibly seen how maybe if you create something that was maybe not the most pretty, how that also was a reflection back. So you've learned to maybe not go that direction again. And if you're going down a path and you come across a, 
a wolf or you come across some briar patches or quicksand or an empty house, you've been in an experience to know how to handle that situation better. Whether you decide to go in the house or not, you have this, you have your knowing. You have your knowing. Capricorn, you know, you know, you know, you know. You know, she, so that's a lot of you knows. She knows how to go through the middle. She knows how to go through the middle. She knows how to connect that lower part of the animal instinct part of herself to survive with that higher who she is, higher self mind, her heart, her voice, her everything in between. Her solar plexus is her power and she's connecting it all. So she knows when to let out information, when to hold it back. So if you're in the moonlight and you're walking in the forest, there's still shadows. There's still things you might not be clear about, but she knows if somebody comes behind her, she can feel it. She can feel it. If something's just far enough away, she can hear it. She notices it. So if she acts accordingly, does she need to be still? Does she need to go in the house and duck behind something for a moment and listen? Or does she need to see if it's something that needs help? Maybe it's somebody in the forest lost and she's the only one that heard. So feel your situation, feel your moment that you're in and the energy that you get from it and trust that you absolutely know how to act and react according to that moment that you're in. She may see the future and she may see the past, but she knows how to live in the now because she's completely connected to spirit and signs and symbols, you know? So let's move on to the lovers, Capricorn. I'm gonna do this because I don't wanna hold the whole deck up and I don't wanna look at it and analyze more. So I'm gonna put that down. I'm going to show you this. So this is a choice. Is this a job? Is this a direction? Is this a person? Is it a relationship? Is it going back to a relationship? Is it leaving a relationship? Is it which, which scene do you put yourself in? Which scene do you put the other person or the other uh, aspect that you're dealing with in in this so I always think in this card like it's like I don't know you have like a king and a queen here you know so there's different scenarios with this side you know you're torn in some way but something's come to light so this decision is brought to light for you which way are you going you have one direction that's like the way you thought you had to go I was bred to be the queen I'm gonna marry the king you know, maybe you had this love affair when you guys were young. You had these dreams to get in the palace and change the world. And, you know, when you got there, you had duties and responsibilities. And you had to be aware of how other people saw you every day and what they thought of your outfit. And what you could say about an opinion that might possibly affect the opinion of the whole kingdom and everyone else. You know, so... What position are these people in now? Are they where they expected to be after this? Or is this somebody completely different? And he had responsibilities and ignored her and she went away and had this affair with someone else. He feels it, he doesn't know it, maybe he felt it. Maybe they had time just apart together to deal with different scenarios. Maybe she had a kingdom and she was like, I need passion. Maybe they took a vacation together and it's still the same couple. Or it's them remembering their past, thinking about their future. Maybe he's like, honey, I can think of so many amazing things we can do together. I have this passionate scenario in my head. You just have to come with me. Stop worrying about what other people think. Or maybe she's, it's in her eyes, you know? Maybe this can happen. Communication is how this can happen if both people want it. 
but there's three in lovers. There's God, the situation, and uh, the divine intervention, the things you can't control. There's you in the situation that you can control. And then there's the other person that you also can't control. So you release control to God and the universe and trust that you're protected and you're going the right, right direction and that in the moment you will be divinely where you need to be exactly at that time. Handling it exactly how you need to be for the highest and greatest good of everybody. But you need to communicate what your desires are, what your wants are. Maybe release your expectations and give trust in yourself and the other person and the universe. And then look around you for the clues that speak to you. Trust them. Trust them, Capricorn. And now this decision, which way are you going to go? It's up to you. They both end up bringing you more towards love. They're just different paths. Sometimes the path that seems a little more daring makes you have a little bit of a spark that brings you a little more clarity when you go back to the kingdom. You know? Your decisions are full of a little bit more inspiration that time. Maybe a little more clarity about what you discussed together in that moment that you forgot about here. We've got a Vigla dog here. We've got a boomer waiting to say hello. He might knock everything over, so I'm going to go. I love you, Capricorn. Thank you for joining me. I hope this was helpful to you in some way, and I hope you just trust that you know you're good. Love is on its way. Smooth sailing. Peace and blessings. Mwah. I love you. Bye.